Anyway, what made the dinosaurs go extinct? Did you know they're asking the wrong question? Instead of asking what made them go extinct, maybe we should be asking, did they go extinct? After the dinosaurs got off of Noah's Ark, they faced a very hostile climate. Things were different. Remember before the flood, they lived to be 900. After the flood dropped off to 400, then 200, then 100. Something was different. Different soil, different atmosphere, gene code getting polluted, radiation from the sun. Things were different after the flood. Many dinosaurs died from the climate changes. Second problem, the head was even worse, I think. People hunted them. But they didn't call them dinosaur, they called them dragon. The word dinosaur wasn't made up till 1841. That's a brand new word in the dictionary. I got some old dictionaries and looked for the word dinosaur. Even in 1891, the word was not in the dictionary. They called them dragons. Hmm. Bible mentions dragons 34 times. Even in the 1946 dictionary listed as now rare. As the population of people began to grow after the flood, the population of dinosaurs began to go down. Because nobody wants to live next door to a dragon. Same thing happened right here in Bucks County. Are we in Bucks County? Okay. Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Question. How many grizzly bears are roaming loose in the woods right here in Bucks County? None, right? How many were there 400 years ago, you think? Probably a whole bunch of them. Gilgamesh is famous for slaying a dragon. A Chinese legend tells about a guy named Yu. It says, after the Great Flood, they surveyed the land of China and divided it into sections. He built channels to drain the water off to the sea and make the land livable again. Many snakes and dragons were driven from the marshlands. This piece of pottery from uh, Egypt shows two long-necked dinosaurs. Why would they put dragons and dinosaurs on different pieces of pottery that are found from ancient civilizations? What are these dragons? And the Bible talks about a fiery flying serpent. What is this? Hmm. Herodotus in 400 BC reported the fiery flying serpents. You might want to read that story sometime. The fiery flying, anyway. Um, in the book of Job, it talks about out of his mouth, Leviathan, go burning lamps and sparks of fire leap out. Out of his nostrils go a smoke. Alexander the Great reported dragons when he conquered part of India. Saddam spent a fortune rebuilding the ancient city of Babylon. On the ancient Babylonian walls, which they rebuilt, they found carvings of lions and dragons. This is from 600 BC. How would they know about dragons in 600 BC? Uh, some were still alive, still lived with man. Why would they put dragons on the walls of the city, the Ishtar Gate in Babylon? It's over there right now if you want to go see.